Paragon just launched what might be the comfiest legging I've ever tried. I'm not kidding. We are introducing their brand new Daydream collection. What makes this collection so special is that they have a new fabric called Air Silk, and yeah, it feels as good as it sounds. This collection I could literally sleep in. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm very excited today because Paragon's new drop is pretty dope, and I know you guys have had a ton of questions. I asked you guys on Instagram stories whether or not you wanted this review, and the general consensus was absolutely of course we do. Is that even a freaking question? Duh. So here I am, I have some questions I'm gonna be answering for you guys. A lot of you guys actually ask very similar questions, so we're gonna touch base on this new fabric, compare it to other Paragon fabrics that are super similar, talk about some differences, you know how it is. But before we continue, if you are a fan of Paragon or activewear in general, then definitely hit that subscribe button. You will not regret it. We love talking activewear on this channel. We love trying new brands too, so drop a comment if you have any requests. Like I said before, this has already dropped, on site. If you see anything you like, I do have my code GATA that saves you 10% off at checkout. Also helps support this channel. So thank you if you use it. New air silk material. What do you have to say about that? Sister material to Reluna. Love me some Reluna. Reluna is actually a beautiful name. Like, I feel like that's something I would name my daughter. Reluna love good. Our most luxurious naked fabric ever. Light as air, nearly naked stretch, and silky smooth. Yes, Paragon, you are right about all three of those things. Off the bat, let me answer that question. Question. What is the difference between this air silk fabric and the Reluna fabric? They're sister materials, but how are they different? So this new air silk fabric is super light and airy, very thin compared to the Reluna fabric. They're very similar. They're both very, very soft, extra stretchy. If there's any material that this air silk is most reminiscent of that Paragon has to offer, it would absolutely be the Reluna naked leggings. These are so similar to those. So if you've ever tried them, now you you know what to expect here. Let's talk about these beautiful colors that are launching. Right now, I am wearing Vertigo. It's a real pretty pinkish purple color. We have Mystique. Do you see this color? It's so bold of a blue. It's real fierce. It's a real confident color, I would say. Moonlight, okay, this is a very dusty lavender, almost gray color. It really depends on the light you're looking at. Okay, sometimes it looks more purple than gray. Sometimes I'm like, I see mostly gray. It just depends. There's also your traditional classic black. Okay, not gonna showcase that today because instead of black, I grabbed the starlight. Now the starlight is only coming in the regular Reluna fabric. This is a foil print. That's what's giving it its starlight attributes. If you look real closely, you can see that shimmer giving that starlight effect. It's a foil print that they used, therefore it does fit differently. So we will talk about that in a second. So the pieces that they dropped in this collection with the air silk fabric are the crossover sculpt seam legging, the original sculpt seam legging, long sleeve wrap crop, which I'm wearing right now, the bliss bralette, and the Transcend Bra. Now we do have some pieces in the Reluna, like I said before, that's the original Sculpt Seam Legging. We've seen this time and time again from this brand, not complaining, it's a classic, one of my favorites. And the Ritual Bra, all right? So that you're gonna see in the starlight color. Those are the only pieces that that starlight foil is coming in. So let's start with the leggings. Air Silk Fabric is coming in the original Sculpt Seam and the crossover. So it just depends on what band you like. These leggings are so stretchy. Let me show you, let me just show. <laughs> the band, very stretchy. Entire legging, extremely low support. Very brushed and soft. I'm wearing my size small in everything today. Right out of the gate, if you're in between, you could size down. But overall, sticking to your true size will be perfect. Their logos are usually very minimal. Kind of tough to see, you actually have to actively look for it. Now this is the sculpt seam. This is their OG sculpt seam. So in case you're unfamiliar, they basically have the internal scrunch, that stretch. You see that black line right there? It's like a rubber band for your booty. The glutes just love it. They just eat it up, literally. And it's for your eyes only. No one else has to know you're getting help back there. It's discreet, it's hidden, it's internal. Paragon's the first brand that I've ever tried that did this, really changed the game. I was like, wow, you can do a hidden scrunch like that? Who knew? I'm seeing brands more and more doing the same thing. So I think if they're the OG starters, they did something good. I mean, they have the trademark next to it. So I mean, that's gotta account for something, right? So this is obviously not a seamless legging. You do not have a top seam and you do not have 
have a front seam. Why? Because they're not necessary ever. You do have a subtle V-seam on the back just to highlight the glutes. All the attributes that I personally prefer in a legging, they got here. Really nice length on me as well. I'm not seeing any wrinkling or anything out of place. This is a really nice glove body fit without being annoying in certain places like the waist. That's where I'm super iffy. I need a waistband that's not pinching in so much so I don't feel like I'm bloated constantly. I actually saw a gal, she asked me, do compressive waistbands make your lower tummy feel extra bloated or is it just me? And it's not just you. So yeah, lower compression works for me. But with that being said, would I wear these to the gym? Unless I'm just sleeping on a yoga mat? No, <laughs> no I would not. I'm telling you, these feel like sleep pants, but legging version. Does that make sense? I think it does. It does to me. I think if you're doing low key movements and just stretching, sure. Don't do anything high intense in this. For as thin as they are, they're surprisingly squat proof. Of course, not 100%, but not terrible. In terms of sweating, you will see sweat in these. It will feel a little bit soggy because it's so soft, but I don't plan on really sweating in these because I don't plan on working out in them. Don't know of too many brands with this specific specific kind of feel to them. This is what makes Paragon super unique. So this really is a nice addition. When I think comfort all day wear legging, I automatically think of Paragon in general. They're so good for that. Let's quickly talk about this foil print, Starlight. Definitely more of a going out legging, an evening legging, if you will. Going out for drinks with the girls, throwing a pair of black heels, cute little button up top, you can get it, right? You're probably thinking, okay, well, in their Raluna leggings, I'm usually this size. Should I size up? I went with my small and it definitely felt snug. I felt it right away. When I was putting them on, I was like, ah, oh, crap, is my booty gonna fit in here? It did, but I really would have rather to size up. So if I could do it all over again, I would. And in the matching bra as well, which we're gonna get into any second. It's really that foil print that just tightens up the legging. That's all it is. Still super comfy. Doesn't have that plasticky feel, which is a huge deal to me when it comes to this type of print. Sometimes with other brands with this specific design, it'll feel plastic, like a Halloween costume. Luckily, this is not it. We still have that soft, buttery soft Raluna fabric, very silky feeling. As long as I size up, this would be 10 out of 10. So the waistband's fine on me. What runs snug is right around the joints. This is where I'm feeling a little bit of snugness. When I squat, it actually pulls down on the lower part here. So you can see it almost drooping down in the back. That's why if I could do it over again, I would probably size up for extra space. I wouldn't say that these are as breathable as the air silk. So I think these are more accommodating for this time of year. Winter time, probably gonna grab these over the regular air silk. Plus the color palette. These are more like, okay, let's go out for some peppermint patty martinis. Candy cane martinis is what I meant to say. Fun fact, I rarely drink, but when I do, it's a candy cane martini in December. I'm just saying. Have you ever had a candy cane martini? They actually crush candy cane pieces and put it on the rim instead of just like sugar or something like that. It is so freaking good. I don't believe I have to say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. This is the sculpt seam, the OG. So you still have that internal scrunch even on this foil print. So we have three different sports bras that are dropping. The Transcend, this is more of a long line sports bra. The Bliss Bralette, so minimal, it's, I'm not even gonna say it, it's risky business. And last but not least, the Ritual Bra, which is in the Starlight Foil print. Let's start with Ritual while we're here. These bras are all low support, without a doubt. Just like that matching foil print legging, I would definitely size up in this bra as well. Like I said, foil print just shrinks everything up a little bit. So if you have a similar bust measurement as me, or larger, I highly suggest sizing up. You have relatively thin spaghetti straps that just meet in the middle, really simple, classic scoop neckline, fairly decent elastic band underneath so there is some support here but not a ton okay there's very little space for your boobies so it's very flattering but like I said I wouldn't be working out in this you do have removable bra pads my only thing is just sizing up in this that's my only condition here other than that it's really cute sports bra this bralette I'm actually wearing the vertigo one right now let me show you without this wrap around OMG <laughs> I am half of a half of a half of a half an inch away from slipping a nip. So close that I, I actually wanted to wear this wrap just in case I watch back the footage and I'm like, oh my God. 
Is it flattering on the girls? Yeah. It's given me a lot of booby. It really is. It's making me look larger than I really am, larger than life here. Now this is a bralette style for a reason, not really meant to do anything crazy in. The risk is up to you. This is also not adjustable, so do keep that in mind. I think that's another reason why it sits very low. This band is very, very comfy. Look at how much that stretches, that's insane. I hate a stiff band. I don't know about you, but it just cuts in and digs in and I'm just like, I feel like I, I have a zip tie around me. You do have removable bra pads. You also have a seam down the middle here so they don't overlap. You also have a little baby elastic band here just to add a tinge of support, but nothing crazy at all. Now sizing, I'll stick with my true size small. If you're in between, this is where it gets a little tricky. If you were to size up, you could run the risk of it drooping a little too much, okay? Because there's no adjustments here. I would have really loved to see adjustments here. Then again, that takes away from the whole blissful, carefree material, because then now you have plastic pieces on your shoulders. But if you were to size down, girl, that depends on how big you are here. Because if I were to size down, Forget it. So stick to your true size. If you're in between, go based off of your own measurements. As far as the transcend bra goes, if you're looking for a little bit more support and or coverage, check this one out. It's a long line bra. You don't have an elastic band. You actually have pretty thick seam right here, but you do have some overlay over the rib cage, still have removable bra pads, still no adjustments, not as stretchy as the Blissful Bralette. Nice thick strap, so if you're looking for something a little more comfortable, if you have larger breasts, then check this one out. Still very low to moderate support. My thing is, if I'm wearing all day wear, I'm going to stick with the Blissful Bralette because of this thick seam right here. I know over time, throughout the day, this thick of a seam right under my rib cage, I'm gonna start to feel it a little bit. So if you're looking for all day wear, just keep that in mind. Last but not least, the wrap long sleeve. I'm barely sweating right now. Like I didn't know I was sweating till Bay pointed it out, but check this out. Damn! I don't even feel hot right now. Now granted, I am wearing natural deodorant, but like what the heck is this? Now, like I said before, this air silk fabric, not sweat proof. This is proof right here. I mean, wow. That's pretty freaking bad. I don't think I've ever had pit stains that bad. I'm not even embarrassed. We're family. Now, when I first put this on, I was like, okay. I, you really have to pull the sleeves up to get it to wrap around nicely without it just falling down over here. So once you get it really nice and up the shoulders, it lays pretty beautifully. It's a very elegant, dainty fit. The wrap really works with this specific collection. I think it adds that really carefree style to it. There's no support or padding. This just really is a long sleeve wrap crop. Super low cut, so please be mindful of the bra you wear with it, preferably the matching bra, because look at this, you can see. So the bra, this is where it wraps. You can see all the way down here. Zero cinching anywhere, not on my sides, nowhere. I think if you're in between, you could get away with sizing down in this, because look, I do have a little bit of extra material right here. I also have a little material here too. So sizing down might be something you want to consider, especially if you're in between. All right, guys, drop a comment with your thoughts on this collection. I think they did a great job on this new material. Love that it's so similar to the naked fabric that I love so much. I have to say that everything I've been trying from Paragon has been really good. I'm not really having bad experiences. The one material, the Flex Sweat, wasn't totally my vibe. That was just a personal preference. But other than that, I really like their variety. I love love that they're very consistent in their launches. I also really love the color palettes that they come out with. They're really always spot on. My only issue I've ever had with Paragon is the quality of their seams. I know a couple of you have said that too. You start to see a little bit of unraveling, little strays here and there. I haven't had an issue to the extent of them tearing. I haven't had an issue of them falling apart on me and I wear them very often. Also, with that being said, I haven't experienced any pilling as long as I'm not working out. If I'm taking this to the gym and I'm doing hip thrust, it's gonna pill. It's gonna, it's just that kind of material. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this review and found it helpful. Please let me know in the comments below what you think of this launch. If you have any additional questions, comment down below as well. And if you'd like to see more Paragon, please let me know, give this video a like because I'd be happy to work them in some more. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I will catch you in my next video.